So, uh, well, it's the start of the new season and we're about to kick off in a game against uh, Ipswich, a friendly at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. As I as was as still the pandemic's going on, so I got myself my Corona, as you can see. <laughs> Just to, uh, you know, to celebrate <laughs> celebrate the, the, the time and also uh, got my Mox Spurs shirt on. Not too bad, eh? I'm still going to buy, buy the new shirts though, but um, uh, as we have a look at this now. The support still going on as you can see there. Black Lives Matter movement still on. That's good to see and I like the new shirts. And uh, well, a couple of uh, younger players will be playing. Davine's going to be starting, at, or he's going to be on the bench at least. But Hoiberg's going to be playing, so we'll see how that goes. But cannot wait. Look forward to this one. Come on you Spurs, let's do this. Not too bad a first half that one. I mean, I have to say that was uh, absolutely cracking. I'm going to get another beer, really. And uh, three 0 to Spurs. And, I, mean, I think the damage was done in the first ten minutes, really. When, um, uh, well, the, f the first goal went in after six minutes. Uh, lovely, lovely bit of play. Dan Ali's been the star of the show, really. It was, it was this long-range pass over the top to uh, Sessegnon that uh, got the first goal. Wrong footed the keeper. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm in my, um, my my good lady's house, so uh, still isolating for, because of the coronavirus, of course. So, uh, so that's 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 why I'm in this uh, unfamiliar surrounding. So that was one nil. Four minutes later, we made it two. A great, great, great finish, really. Well, well, I say great finish. It was a mix up by by the uh, by the Ipswich defence. Keeper kind of played it out when he shouldn't have. He should just hoofed it clear. Um, it was then uh, challenged. I think uh, Hoiber got. Uh, to the ball, got as far as Dele, who passed it back to his son to run foot the, the defender and the goalkeeper, and to, he just passed it into an empty net. 2 0. And we just kind of controlled the game throughout from, from that point, out, point on in. And uh, it was good to see the pressing. That's what I was impressed with the pressing that, uh, that was showing here. I know people will say, oh, put a zip switch. Still, this, this is what pre is all about, getting that training in and, uh, get, and getting and, and getting that, that kind of style flowing. And that's exactly what we did, really. The pressing there, and it was, yeah, Jensen, I know he's playing as winger, as winger again. I'm sure he's a central midfielder, but that's where we're playing him a lot. And well, he's been quite good, actually, out, out on that side. You know, I think he's been playing, well, it started off on the left, uh, interchanging with, uh, with Cecil John, who's there. But now he's actually on the right. And um, Lusa Sessegnon is playing as left wing and he's playing as right wing, um, Fernandez. But he's been playing very well. Sessegnon is kind of like in and out of the game, but uh, but you know, he, he, he steps up and he does the, the business when it's needed. And um, Hoiberg's been, um, yeah, he's been, been quiet, he's been doing his job, and that's, that's literally all we can ask for, really. He's done what he's, I mean, he stops pretty much Ipswich coming forward. They haven't actually really had a shot and goal. and. I think the game's kind of been sealed up now because uh, it's 3-0, 29 minutes, Sonny comes up, a lovely pass from, from one point uh, into Sonny who uh, burst clear of the last line of defence, he was played onside and uh, he just did a lovely dink over the keeper, 3-0, game over. I wonder if we can try and get the same score on that uh, Ipswich suffered, I think it was the, the, the heaviest um, defeat away from home in the Premier League that still stands. I know we almost got it when we beat Wigan 9-1, but uh, Manchester United got it, uh, uh, currently hold it at 9-0. Uh, but uh, I would love to score a few more past Ipswich, but we have played so well, and that's what, and, and that's what I want, you know, it, um, is important to me, really. You've got a front three of uh, Dele, of Sun, and of, uh, well, I guess it'll be uh, oh, um, Fernandez as well, you're kind of like pushing up in, in that position. And we look good, we do look good. It's amazing, really. And um, you got another couple more friendlies after that, but let's, um, let's, let's try and sort out the second half. I want to see a couple more goals, really. Our defence hasn't really been tested, we've dealt with everything that's uh, been thrown at us, so let's see what happens. But yeah, loving what I'm seeing so far. I'm going to go and order a uh, McDonald's now from Just Eats product advertisement and then uh, let's get to the second half I'll uh, give you an update of that afterwards ciao so yeah it finished 3-0 in the end no other um, goals were scored in that uh, second half which is a shame but we did get quite a good look at a few of the youngsters that we have in our uh, in our squad and um, and 
and Alfie Devine, you know, the guy that was bought from Wigan for 500,000 earlier in the in the window, op the transfer window opening, actually looked quite uh, tidy in the middle of the pitch there. And um, he, liked, he has a good pass on him, lovely pass on him, in fact. He tried a 40-yard ball, which um, didn't quite come off, but um, still, the, the effort there and, and, and the... You know, is what um, um, uh, you yeah, know got me excited as well, and um, you have a young striker there, 16 years old. Um, oh, I can't believe I can't believe I've forgotten what his name is now. But uh, he actually did quite well. He had a couple of chances. Almost got on the end of a of a Jack Clark pass, which um, was which uh, was just inches away from you know from, from connecting and uh, but he looks quite busy and she helps on defense quite a bit as well and uh, Jack Clark the player I mentioned looked very good in the second half it's, it's good it's, I mean it's, it's understandable what, what why we spent that money that we did to get together from Leeds and why we tried to load him out to try and get some more experience to beef him up a bit he looked quite confident and, and quite comfortable on, on the right and did quite well it was just um, a couple of his passes didn't come off, but he's very skillful, very tri very tricky, and he likes to take players on, and that I enjoyed watching. And um, well, I have to say that my probably in my mind of the match was probably Dele. I think um, controlled the midfield, controlled up front as well, and um, tried to get Spurs ticking. And um, it was his kind of like a calm passing, all his uh, his vision that, um, that that set up a couple of, the, of our goals. And actually, if it was any more fortune, he could, he could have actually had a hat-trick of, of assists, really. There was one pass to uh, Jetson that uh, didn't quite come off, that uh, Jetson stopped as he was trying to collect the ball. Son scored a couple of goals, and obviously, in, in, in that first half, and could have had a hat-trick himself, but, um, you know, he was very unlucky. And uh, But, but you know, all, all the players that came on did very well. Uh, Joe Hart got his, um, he got 25 minutes under his belt. He wasn't tested at all. He didn't actually have to face these shots. So that's how much of a, in control we were. And we brought on Sirkin as well on left back, and he was fantastic as always. And um, yeah, no, it, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I know it's all. You know, it's just friendlies. I know people will, will, will break me for that. It's all just friendlies. It's any others. It's not like a massive important side. But um, it, this, is, this is where you need to uh, build up your uh, fitness, your stamina, your confidence, and uh, your style of play, and try to stamp it. You know, and try to stamp it down as hard as you can. And um, we look good. I mean, everyone's kind of assuming that uh, Jose Mourinho will all be about, uh, but uh, you know, parking the bus and then just uh, and then just getting, getting a ball draw. It's all about the player that is at his disposal. And um, he showed that if he has the right players at his disposal, he can do good things. Jetson Fernandes played at uh, as an attacking right back most of, the, most of that game, which is kind of interesting, really. I mean, I. When we bought him, I thought, well, not bought him, but uh, when we got him on loan, I thought he was a central midfielder. He played a lot out on the wings, and it uh, looks like he was playing at right back today. And obviously, because we haven't got right back, it looks like uh, Serge Aurier is going to go to AC Milan for about 18 to 19 million euro. But, um, but yeah, but he played, he actually was, was all right. I mean, he didn't actually have to do much defensively. So that'll be the test when it comes to um, the, the more attacking sides. But, um, yeah, we played quite well. We did very well. And, uh, you know, what can I say? 3-0. We'd like to have a few more goals. And we'll, we'll be close to getting a, a, a couple more goals. But um, most of the shots there weren't quite uh, off standard. And uh, the keeper did quite well in the second half. Uh, I can't remember who, who, did, who the keeper was in the second half. But um, did very well. So now it's on to, the, on to the next friendly. I think it's Birmingham that we play. So um, we shall see what happens then. But uh, yep, so far so good. A clean sheet as well. That's going to be the, the hallmark really. That's what I want to see for next season. Clean sheets all the way. And um, well, we shall see what happens. But uh, I'm quite happy with the, with, with the game. And uh, this channel that Spurs have got up, this N17 channel, is alright. I do like it. Once I got it working on the TV, it was fine. But uh, yep. Uh, no points won today, but good fitness, um, good run out today, and three goals, three good goals too. And uh, Sonny, you know, getting the shooting boots on, and that was fantastic to see. But there we go, that's a final score here at, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's finished Tottenham 3, Ipswich 0.